what's going on everybody we're watching Oscar Outdoors man so last time we shot some buffalo fish with the bow you see that right here real quick on the uh, last video we went ahead and prepared them we uh, showed you guys how to scale them and fillet them and get them all processed and put them in the freezer. And today what we're going to go ahead and do is make a buffalo fish, smoked buffalo fish dip. Alright, so the ingredients we're going to use today are, of course, I'm going to add some fat to this fish and so we're going to have some uh, country smoked bacon here, thick cut. Poblano pepper, a lime. That's salt mixed with uh, paprika and a little bit of chili powder. Some black pepper. And this is some hickory chips that's been soaking in water to smoke the fish with. And of course, we got the buffalo fish that we prepared earlier. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and put this right here for now. Side by side, just like that. Yeah, it was fun shooting these buffalo fish, you guys. It's different than catching on a, on a hook and line, you know. You, you gotta use bait, and you gotta wait, and this and that. And they're kind of finicky, they only eat like corn and bread and stuff like that. So they're kind of a little, little difficult to catch for the novice fisherman. Uh, but when, when you got a bow, and, and if you're accurate, you know what you're doing and stuff like that, you can harvest them that way, and it's real fun, man. You guys gotta check that out. So we're gonna start off with squeezing some lime on top of these. I like the tartness of lime in a lot of the foods I eat. I think we'll be okay with one half right there. We're gonna go ahead and use this uh, salt and pepper mix. I mean, a uh, salt mix with paprika, and sprinkle a little bit, a little bit of this on there. Just like that. All right. Crack black pepper. Just like that, you guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this stuff in the grill. Poblano pepper here is going to go in the, the dip later on, so we're going to roast it. We'll put this on the side because we we'll won't let it stay in there for the, for the duration of the time the fish is going to be in there. And we'll start off with a small handful of uh, hickory chips that have been soaked in water. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot one special ingredient here. The bacon. Just put it in there. Now uh, this is a uh, country, uh, not country, but uh, from a, uh, yeah, it's from a country store. My mother-in-law brought it. And uh, it's thick cut, still got the skin on it, man. Dang, you know what's up. And we're gonna use this to add a little bit of fat. It's hickory smoked, so it's gonna match the wood we got in there. Yeah, that's good right there, just like that, you guys. All right. Can't forget all the ingredients.
these guys out. So I'm gonna let them sit right here for a little bit, let them cool. I'm gonna separate the bacon. I'm gonna separate the bones from all the meat. And we're gonna go ahead and get started on that uh, dip, you guys. We'll get back to where I have this meat already all broken down and all that. Yeah, so have you ever wondered what the bones look like inside these uh, fish here? There they go. Little pin bones. Look like little brushes. This is an individual bone right here. That's an individual bone right there. All right. So I went ahead and cut up the poblano pepper and put it in here with the chopped up bacon. I'll go ahead and add that inside with the fish. Just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut up these green onions. I got some chives right there. I'm gonna chop these up and put them in there too. And cut up these chives. And put it in there with the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna add a half a lime. I'm gonna add a little bit of that salt, paprika, and chili powder mix I added earlier before I smoked the fish. I'm gonna add some Old Bay seasoning. Add a little bit of dill weed. Half a tablespoon, a tablespoon if you want. A little bit of more fresh ground black pepper. Next we're gonna put some cream cheese. A little bit of Duke's mayo. And a little bit of sour cream. We're gonna mix all that in smooth. We're in a little bit of sriracha, man. If you don't got this in your fridge, you're supposed to. All right, just a little bit. And keep mixing this thing. You want it to be a creamy, dip-like consist con consistency. There you go. There you go. Oh, got the little ones in the back. All right. Barking away. They want to try it out already. Nice and creamy. Something you can dip a chip or a cracker into. We're gonna use uh, the hatch chili pita chips for this. You could use sea salt, garlic, herb, whatever you want. And also you can tweak the seasonings and the ingredients you add in here. The main ingredients you wanna put in this is the the mayo, the sour cream, and the cream cheese. And um, those are the, your base, your bases right there. The obey and then the dill and all the salt and pepper to taste. And of course, a little spicy stuff if you want. It's up to you. And then the green onion and chives, real easy. Lime juice, lemon juice, something like that. Some sort of acid. All right. There you go, guys. Smoked buffalo sucker. Excuse me if I said carp before, I'm still getting used to it myself, you guys. Smoked buffalo sucker, native to America. 
uh, hickory smoked dip, fish dip, with uh, hatch chili, um, pita crackers, garnish with a little bit of dill. There you go. You can taste the smokiness. And that fish is clean, delicious, smoky. The dill, the flavor, everything's delicious in that. You guys gotta check it out for yourself. All right, I'm gonna have my wife try a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's good. What do you think? Good? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Really good. Good for parties. Definitely, right? Mm -hmm. So take a bunch of that to a party or something like that? And... Oh, definitely. <laughs> Hey, you guys, you see, we heard it from my wife herself, man. If I made that dip, you can make the dip, you guys. If I can make it taste good, you can make it taste good. And you don't have to do much to it, right? The buffalo fish is pretty good itself. Yeah, well, it's pretty easy to make. All right. Well, there you have it, you guys. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Oscar Outdoors. Uh, stick with us. I'll have something else for you guys later on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe.